Welcome to Jerusalem for this Inside Israel report, where we tell you what's happening in Israel and the Middle East. Israeli archaeologists have uncovered an incredible 1,500-year-old church, and it stands out among all the rest. This Byzantine-era church was found near Israel's Ramat Beit Shemesh neighborhood. It was erected during the time of Emperor Justinian in 543 A.D. The complex was once adorned with detailed mosaics and colorful frescoes, some of which you can still see today. The Israeli Antiquities Authority, in partnership with the Bible Lands Museum in Jerusalem, already noted while the excavation was ongoing that this site is phenomenal. This church by far surpasses most of them by its size, its preservation, and its association to a, a, a martyr. The church was dedicated to a mysterious figure known today as the Glorious Martyr. Archaeologists aren't sure who this martyr was, but whoever he is, he definitely left his mark on the Holy Land. Well, Israel is converting air into drinkable water for residents of a small town in northern Colombia. The Israeli company Watergen has created an award-winning machine that literally produces water out of thin air. That technology is in Colombia thanks to the partnership between a Colombian pastor and the company. Now, Watergen is providing clear, drinkable water to the most needy communities in Colombia. Watergen isn't just helping in South America. It's going all around the world to provide safe drinking water to those who need it most. Every day we hear reports about terrorism, persecution, and martyrdom in the Middle East. Many of you watching this want to help, but just don't know how. We spoke to one woman who says she heard from the Lord about how Christians everywhere can effectively confront terrorism and shine a light in this region. She tells all in a new book called Love in the Face of ISIS. Take a look. Love in the Face of ISIS is really just carrying God's heart into conflict and asking Him, what, how do we respond? I had a vision of being seated in heaven, looking at the earth from God's perspective. And I knew that that was a prayer directive. We need to pray into the situation the way that He does. So when we pray, we realign our, our thoughts and our attitudes, our perspective, our eyesight, our vision with what He's saying and doing. So powerful. Varela gives seven prayer strategies you can follow the next time you pray for this complicated region. You can see the full interview and stories just like these this week on our Jerusalem Dateline program.